It's 6.40 in the morning. I go to an online high school, so I have to go take my star test at Margaritaville. The lighting probably sucks. I'm sorry. I haven't washed my hair in a while. Will I be washing my hair and taking a shower? No. We're wearing a beanie. I did, however, pick out an outfit in my head. Yoga pants because they're my heart and soul. Is it boring? Yes. Am I going to take a boring test? Yes. Also, I'm not wearing a bra because, you know, I have this over it. But society still makes me feel insecure about me having nipples. Look at my skin, doing her thing, being all nice to me, even though I don't do anything for her. I'm gonna put on some moisturizer. I don't even know if this is what it is. Strength and resilience, protein and lipids for aging and mature skin. I'm 16, I don't think I am in that category. You wanna know my makeup routine? Probably not. Curl your eyelashes, put some clear mascara on your eyes, then go over it with real mascara, and then maybe put some cream blush on. Yeah. No, I'm not a freaking pick me girl. I'm just lazy and don't want my skin to break out because my I won't wash it. I forgot a very important factor that I need to go get right now. Alani New Energy Drinks. It's not sponsored obviously i love these things with my entire heart and this guy's a little deformed but that's okay i can't drink it all at one time because it'll give me a stomach ache that's my trash makeup routine now i got stuff i never get mascara all over my eyes but this morning i did thanks hairstyle i couldn't find my beanie which was like the biggest problem in my head but then i found it under my dirty clothes how did it go from somewhat looking cute to this? This side ever never does not give me problems. I should have left it how it was, but now I can't put it back up. And then I'm about to yell, I'm about to scream, and I'm about to start crying because I'm gonna stressed out. Do I like it? Absolutely not. Do I leave in nine minutes? Yes. So we're gonna leave it at that. And put some jewelry on and we're getting in the car with some veggie chips. Hi, I need two of the cheesy bean and rice burritos, but no cheese. Okay. I'm sitting outside in my driveway on a push a cushion. The test I took an hour and a half, no, two hours and 30 minutes on. There were 66 questions and an essay that I had to write. And now I'm good for the day because that was my only schoolwork. So I just get the rest of my day to do things that I want to do, which is great. I ate two tacos, two burritos, because Taco Bell. It's 8.25 p.m. I'm making a smoothie, and I'm gonna watch Turning Red for the first time ever. I forgot what filming was for the rest of the day. I haven't made a smoothie in like a, a year. It's probably, no, it hasn't been a year. H-E-B has really good frozen blueberries. Also, I don't make just no regular, ordinary, liquidy smoothie. Full offers. I got this thing of falafel mix from Trader Joe's a few months ago, and I never made them. I've never eaten a falafel. I don't even know what falafel is, but it said vegan on the box, so I, I grabbed it. Apparently this stuff has to sit for 30 to 60 minutes before you can cook them. Apparently falafels is beans. That smells heavenly. It smells like beans, which smell really good, so. For three falafels is 13 grams of protein. 
10 grams of protein for three falafels. Oh my, this is gonna have to go in my diet more often. It also says to blend it, but I don't wanna put this in my blender. I really want beans in the blender I eat fruit out of. I think when I bought them, I was thinking of a hush puppy and they're probably not gonna be like a hush puppy. It said cover loosely and let sit out or let sit. Does it sit in the fridge? Does it sit on the counter? I don't know. It's a long time later, 8.38 to be exact. I made my falafels. They're delicious, I love them a lot. I had no idea I went so long without knowing what a falafel was or what falafel is. Cause it's delicious. Right in the middle of me making my falafels, I went to watch my little sister's softball games that I was not expecting to do. So my falafel sat for much longer than 30 to 60 minutes. What do you dip falafels in? I feel like I need a, a sauce or something. I thought, yeah, my pants are undone, what's about it? I've started, yes, I'm gonna have, I have a Christmas mug. What about it? I started drinking tea more often recently. I never thought about putting milk in tea, in hot tea, but I did, and it's very good. Also, I always drink two steeped tea bags. I have green tea and chamomile. I've come to the conclusion that they really need a sauce. They're very dry. I don't know if that's because I cooked them wrong or if falafel is just normally dry. But I found a recipe for dill sauce. There is a recipe, <clears throat> but it's for a whole cup of dill sauce. I don't need a whole cup of dill sauce, so I'm going to wing it. Because the ingredients are simple. Also, it calls for Greek yogurt, um, and I only have almond-based vanilla yogurt. So it's gonna be a little sweet. I made some vegan ricotta the other day with cashews and vanilla yogurt. Once it was cooked, I couldn't even tell that it was vanilla yogurt. So I'm hoping that all the savory parts of it will even it out. Some olive oil. I completely miss. It said fresh dill. I I don't know if I know what dill is. I have dill weed. But what is fresh dill? I'm oh, it's like fresh cilantro, isn't it? Well I don't have that, so. Also dill is I think my favorite seasoning. I love dill weed. Salt, some garlic powder, and some lemon juice. Let's, let's see. The only thing is that I'm not a fan of sweet sauces. I don't like sweet sauces. And this is very much a sweet sauce. A little bit. Lemon juice. It's not awful. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a fan. For dessert. Frozen blueberries and vanilla yogurt which is very yummy. And the yogurt likes to freeze to the blueberries because they're still super cold. Then you get little frozen yogurt blueberries. I 
we've made more tea and now I'm going to make a, take a bath.